Hello, I'm back again. As promised, we have two special guest speakers today. Our second guest speaker is none other than Mrs. Tisha Henderson. We've known each other now for nearly 20 years. It's hard to believe I've been in the city of Indianapolis that long. We met in the context of serving youth and families in the city of Indianapolis. Uh, we were co-workers, colleagues working for Mental Mental Health Services in the uh, IPS school-based district. And, and we had a great time getting to know one another in that context. Since that time, I've gone off to, to plan a church and, and start Crown Mentoring, uh, but she's been busy herself uh, providing leadership for Haven Focus, uh, which is a service provider in the Indianapolis area. She has been incredibly blessed to do what she's doing on a large scale, and she is making a difference in the lives of the children and families that she serves. She offers a holistic approach, a holistic spiritual approach in meeting the needs of the families that she serves. Uh, she and her husband are doing a great work together. And, and she's, one, she's the one that really inspired me to make sure we still get some guest speakers uh, for our completion celebration this year and record it so that we could share it with each and every one of you in each of our schools. Uh, Tisha, you're gonna be addressing uh, Crown Scholars in five different schools uh, wow. this afternoon who will be sitting eagerly, ready to hear what you have to say. I'm gonna be sitting eagerly as well as you address our scholars and our mentors. Thank you so much, Tisha. I know we're in good hands. You have the floor. Thank you, Pastor Reynolds. It has been a blessing. Um, just to share my professional journey. My professional journey really began um, in Earls, Arkansas, where I was born. Uh, my family and I um, lived on what was called then Dean Row Plantation. And that's where my family and I picked cotton for a living. My main job was to attend to my brother at the end of the cotton row. This is gonna be significant the journey, my professional journey that has led me to where I am now. So my mother would um, have me uh, attend to my brother at the end of the cotton field, which was my primary job. Um, I was about nine years old. Uh, my mother divorced my father. So we moved to Danville, Illinois. In Danville, Illinois, my mother was a single mother, nine children. And sometimes I would just look at her, how hard she would work, I'm home and still provide and take care of me and my nine siblings. Um, and I remember specifically, which really like pointed me into providing services for others. So nine years old, I became an entrepreneur. I would, uh, and it, it, it was because I wanted simply to buy candy. I and mean, I didn't wanna ask my mother for 10 cents so I can go and buy some penny candy at the store. So what I figured out was, okay, I don't wanna ask my mom, so let me go and ask the neighborhood, uh, the old people in our neighborhood, if I could clean their homes, if I could rake their leaves, if I could shovel their snow. I did that. I made a lot of money for a nine-year-old. I would take some of my money and give it to my mother. Now that leads me up to um, 2008, serving others, which is my passion. I believe that God gave me the gift serving others, simply just serving others. I take pleasure in that. I'm most happiest when I am serving. So in 2008, um, I opened my private practice. Didn't know how I was going to do it, but I knew that God was leading me to a bigger purpose. So I was able to open up my private practice in 2008. Um, we were in IPS school system. A lot of people don't know that, but we were, Haven Focus, were providing services for IPS. In 2014, um, I just got the itch to do something different. I didn't know what it was going to be. So I prayed about it and I told my husband, I want to do something different, but I don't know what it is. So I prayed and asked God, I just order my steps. So something just an urging for me to go on the Indiana website. Um, I looked at Indiana website, they had an RFP 
was open request for a proposal. I've never written a proposal before in my life. Didn't even know what it was until you know I went on the internet to see. So I told my husband, okay, I'm going to write a proposal. Again, it, just, it, it was out of my, like it was out of my league, but what I did was ask God to allow me to write from my heart and allow me to write from my professional experience. And that's what I did. So I identified seven different services that even focus can provide for the Department of Child Services. And I told my husband, no, I won't get all seven. Sure enough, you know, we were able to get all seven different services to provide for children and families um, that are wards of DCS, the Department of Child Services. The company grew so rapidly. My husband retired from, from the uh, Department of Defense um, to help me get my company off the ground and to help support in building a stable company. So that's what he did. He, he did that for me. He retired to help me. So I was able to quickly put together a management team, I was able to build a staff. Alongside of that, we also branched out to Danville, Illinois, because I wanted to give back to my community. So we had two companies, standing up two companies at the same time, which was exciting for me. And uh, we were able to build a team in Danville, Illinois, in, in Indianapolis, Indiana. In addition to that, I said, okay, well, let's, let's see what else we can do. <laughs> so we were able to stand up and operate or transitional home, which we partnered with Eskenazi to provide housing for uh, the mentally ill, that population. Uh, we had 22 residents in our home. It was forced. Um, we are you know, in good standing. Um, so of all of that, all leads back to me taking care of my brother at the end of the row in the cotton field. And so I, um, I'm just so grateful. I don't take it lightly. This is ministry to me. Of course, it is my profession. It is also ministry to me. So the money that I'm able to gain from my professional side, I'm, I'm able to pour back to my community. I'm able to help. Because my main objective all of my life, again, has been serving. It has been using the, my skills to um, gain revenue so I can pour back into others. So that has been my professional journey. Now, Tisha, I want to thank you so much. You know, I've always admired you, uh, your work ethic, uh, your desire uh, for excellence. Yes. Uh, as yes. colleagues, you had a desire for excellence and, and you didn't like any foolishness. Yes. <laughs> and you didn't like that is being so around true. people that weren't about excellence. Yes, that is so, so true. I, I always thought, even as colleagues, that you were bigger than what you were doing at that time. And so to see you walking in this is such an incredible blessing for me. Man, I hope everyone watching uh, is able to recognize and appreciate the fact that no matter where you start in life, yes. you can be successful. Absolutely. I'll never forget hearing you tell me that you came from Arkansas and you grew up picking cotton. Yes. Uh, looking yes. at you carry yourself the way you were carrying yourself at that time, I thought to myself, wow, what an amazing journey. And, and that was inspiring for me. And I hope it was inspiring for all of our young people today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to serve us and to pour back into Crown, the scholars that we serve and even our mentors. Have a wonderful day. And, yes. and I pray God's richest blessings on you, uh, the work of your hands as you continue to move forward in doing what you do. Thank you so much. You're I'll connect welcome. with you soon. Yes, thank you. Have a great day. You too.